This is a brief demonstration of adding array operations into dimension definitions. So this is a simple interface we've got with downtown, uptown, and north side sales for pizza, subs, and fries. So we can move between the different stores and the different products and see the results, in this case both in a graph and in a numerical display. And what I'd like to be able to do is do the total across all the different stores for a given product or the total across all the different products for a given store or perhaps the total for both of those. This can now be very easily done. We need to go back to the model layer to do this. In the model layer we open the array editor and in the array definition for product and store over at the right there's a little wrench. We click on that and we say we'd like to include the sum and we will call it total and we'd like to include the mean and we will call it average. These labels are uh, optional. If you don't include the labels then the name sum or mean will show up which is the same as the name of the built-in for the corresponding operation in the model. So again I'll add a sum, average for sum, and average for mean and total for sum and I have done that now for both the product and the store. I use the same labels for both of these. You do not have to do that although typically you probably would want to. If we now go back to the model what we'll see and let me go back to the interface which is where we started. I go into presentation mode and we'll see a total across all stores and all products and I can also look across the different stores, what's the total across products, or I can look for a given product, what's the detail, or what's the total, or what's the average if I want. You'll notice that total is at the top of the list and average is first, so the sum always goes first in the list, and the average min or max if you use them always goes last in the list. The labels are the ones I put in. If you do a combination that's not supportable, which means a combination of, for example, total and average, it'll show up as dash dash with no results being shown because it's not possible to compute that combination in a consistent manner. That is the way of adding in functionality to the display of information on the interface and on the model layer without having to change or add additional variables to the model. Thank you.